Let's talk about repentance. Uh, repentance is a requirement to get saved. I will uh, read a little from the Bible uh, about this. Uh, first I want to read about the rich man and Lazarus. And in Luke chapter 16 verse 19 to 31 Jesus said, There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared symptomously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. So it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried, and being in torments in Hades, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, So remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted and you are tormented. And besides all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed. So that those who want to pass from here to you cannot, nor can those from there pass to us. Then he said, I beg you dear for father, that you would send him to my father's house. For I have five brothers, that he may testify to them, lest they also come to this place of torment. And Abraham said to him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, No father Abraham, but if one goes to them from the dead, they will repent. But he said to him, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded through one rise from the dead. So what could we uh, learn from this? We, could, we, we learn that we, repentance is a requirement. Uh, like he said, no, no father Abraham, but if one goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He wanted to warn his brothers to repent uh, so they would not go to hell. And we also learned that if they did not listen to Moses and the prophets, they would not even listen to a person that came, came back from the dead. I want to warn every one of you out there who live in sin. You need to repent. Please listen to me. Because if you don't listen to me, you would not even listen to a dead person who came back from the dead. Uh, this is serious. I'm not a prophet, but, but I spread God's word. I know Jesus is real. I know I walk in the truth. I know I walk in the truth. I, I don't, I don't, believe, I don't uh, think that I, I think I could walk in the truth. I know I walk in the truth. I know Jesus is real. So I warn you to, to repent or you will perish in hell. And uh, we also learn that in hell, it's no water or anything like that. He wanted a drop of water on his tongue. Still today he waits for that drop of water, but he will never get it. And uh, in 2 Peter 3.9 3, it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. If you are alive and live in sin today, the reason you are alive is that God don't want you to perish in hell. He has a plan for you. He wants you to repent and serve him. So uh, give your life to Jesus. In Luke chapter 5 verse 32, Jesus said, I have not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. He came to call you sinners to repent. That's, that's how it is. And uh, uh, many people want to uh, uh, say this, that it works uh, to repent. Uh, we, we don't need to repent because that's works. I will tell you that repentance is a gift from God. We can read that in Romans chapter 2 verse 4. Or do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance and longsuffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? And in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 25, in humility, correcting those who are in opposition, if God perhaps will grant them repentance, 
so that they may know the truth. God wants to give you repentance, my friends. God wants you to repent, but it's still you who uh, have to uh, decide to do that. You are not a robot. You are, uh, you are a human with free will. If you want to repent, it's up to you. So repent. Jesus bless you.